Hello there ladies and gents. Welcome to our new trending video story. In this episode we will be talking about the woman who allegedly slept for 32 years. Is this true? Well, we will find out as we dive into the real story. But first, if you like this kind of content please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are not subscribed yet, also consider to subscribe to our YouTube channel James Adam Official. Carolina Olsen's story is a captivating and mysterious tale of a young girl who allegedly slept for 32 years, born in 1861 on Okeana Island. Carolina's life took a peculiar turn when she complained of a toothache at the age of 14 and subsequently fell into a deep, unending sleep. Despite her family's limited resources and suspicions of witchcraft or malevolent influences, Carolina's mother cared for her tirelessly, force-feeding her to glasses of milk daily. After a year of unsuccessful attempts by a local doctor, a more prominent physician, Johann Emil Olmblad, took an interest in her case in 1892. However, Carolina remained in a comatose state, and her diagnosis of dementia paralytica seemed inaccurate throughout her lengthy slumber. Carolina was not examined by a psychiatrist, and her condition remained a mystery. It wasn't until 1908, 32 years later, that she woke up, bewildering her family and medical professionals alike. Carolina's awakening revealed a complex and enigmatic story. She displayed an ability to recall her past, read, and write, yet she couldn't point out her country's capital on a map. A doctor named Harald Frederstrom suspected that she had experienced a form of psychosis triggered by trauma, leading her to withdraw from the world under her blankets while remaining fully conscious. Carolina's mother had been her sole caregiver during her hibernation years, discreetly providing for her needs and concealing the truth from the family. This dedication and secrecy explained the family's belief that Carolina consumed only two glasses of milk daily for over three decades. This story shares similarities with another case of a sleeping girl, Ellen Sadler, who awoke after nine years of slumber. Both girls were cared for by their mothers, who shielded them from outside scrutiny. After Ellen's mother's death, she mysteriously woke up much like Carolina did after her own mother's passing. Carolina's life post-awakening was relatively healthy, but her story remains a captivating enigma. She ultimately passed away in 1950 at the age of 88, closing the chapter on one of the most perplexing medical mysteries in history, the story of Carolina Olsen. The woman who allegedly slept for 32 years is nothing short of astonishing. It's a tale that raises a multitude of questions and elicits a wide range of reactions. Throughout her decades-long slumber, the initial reaction upon hearing about Carolina's predicament is one of sheer disbelief. How could someone sleep for such an extended period? It's a medical mystery that challenges our understanding of human physiology and the boundaries of consciousness. The idea of falling asleep and not waking up for three decades is almost surreal, leaving us with a sense of wonder and curiosity about what might have caused this extraordinary. And the circumstances leading up to her prolonged sleep also evoke a mix of emotions. Her late start in formal education and the belief in witchcraft as a potential cause of her condition highlight the superstitions and limited medical knowledge of the time. It makes us reflect on how far medical science and education have come since then and the importance of seeking professional medical help. The dedication of Carolina's mother as her caregiver during those 32 years is truly remarkable and heartwarming. It's a testament to a mother's unwavering love and devotion to her child, even in the face of such a baffling and distressing situation. The family's belief in her hibernation and their efforts to sustain her daily life are both touching and perplexing. The involvement of various doctors, each with their own theories and diagnoses, adds another layer of complexity to the story. The speculation that 
Carolina may have experienced a form of psychosis, triggered by trauma raises questions about the role of mental health in her condition. It makes us ponder the delicate interplay between physical and mental health and, and how they can influence one another. Carolina's eventual awakening in 1908 is a moment of both relief and bewilderment, her inability to recognize her own brothers and her physical state. Resembling someone who had suffered from starvation, Leva's wondering about the true nature of her condition during those 32 years. The fact that she exhibited intelligence and retained knowledge of her past, yet couldn't pinpoint her country's capital on a map, raises intriguing questions about the boundaries of consciousness and memory. With Carolina leading a fairly healthy life after her awakening, and eventually passing away from an intracranial hemorrhage leaves us with a sense of closure. However, it also leaves us with lingering questions about the nature of her prolonged sleep and the role of her caregivers in sustaining her throughout those years. In the end, Carolina Olsen's story is a captivating blend of mystery, devotion, and the resilience of the human spirit. It challenges our understanding of medical science human psychology, and the depths of maternal love, making it a truly remarkable and thought-provoking narrative. So what's your opinion about this story? Let me know in the comments section and also don't forget to share our video. Until next time, stay safe as always, James Adam out.